Andrews Guys podcast. I'm here with Scott. Luke, how are you? I'm great, man. How are you? I'm excited to talk about a product. Yeah? I am. Actually, this is uh, something that has kind of reinvigorated. Um, it comes at a great time for me. Okay. As the days get shorter. Yes. It's darker. Mm-hmm. Uh, spend more time indoors. Yep. Football season. Yeah. A uh, lot of things. Super Mario Wonder is uh, out on the Switch. Uh-huh, uh-huh. There's a lot of time in front of a television. Sure. And You, you want to make sure you have a good one. You want to have a good one, right? Yeah. I've been reviewing a great one. Yeah? Yeah. Do I tell. I have uh, been reviewing the Hisense. It's a 65-inch. Okay. It's the Class U7 series. So if you're looking up Hisense, it's the U7 series. Yeah. And it's a 4K uh-huh. HDR TV. Uh-huh. Uh, mini LED, QLED. So this is all like jargon oh, that I've kind of it, had. To, it, it's it's like the latest and greatest. It is. Yeah. And I've had to kind of like care or learn what some of these things are. Sure. Because for the longest time, I was okay with the TV that I had. Sure. I had uh, for a few years, a, a 55 inch Samsung mm-hmm. smart TV. Mm-hmm. My content consumption is largely streaming. Sure. I did I don't do I don't have a physical Blu-ray player anymore. Mm-hmm. I don't have any like physical media sure. that I watch. Isn't that weird? Yeah, I mean I own some and yeah. it's in the house. Right. But I might be more inclined to like put in a VHS sure. of like the pre special edition Star Wars. Yeah. To catch that. Yeah. Um but I say I was okay with my TV because I didn't realize that uh you could stream a, a really good 4K mm-hmm. video. Yeah. I've, I've got plenty of bandwidth at home with my internet. Sure. So I've always been kind of like, eh, they don't really broadcast 4K. I'm not paying for the 4K plan on my YouTube TV. Mm-hmm. I don't need it. Mm-hmm. Netflix, we might, you know, now that they're doing their different plans, I may not pay for the top tier for the 4k just because Mm -hmm. our tv doesn't have it it kind of keeps me from spending a couple extra bucks a month how much different is it yeah you know it's hd it looks great as it is you know right yeah i don't i've got a switch which is 1080p Mm -hmm. i've got a ps4 i don't play that many video games so right maybe if i got a five or new xbox that was 4k maybe we'll start having that conversation right yeah but as of right now it's not a big deal well man until <laughs> 4K is hot. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. Um, it It's all the things that, uh, you know, that obviously it's been around for a while. Sure. But it's it's all the stuff that I'm watching and doing now on this television. Mm. It's kind of made me reevaluate a lot of the stuff that I do watch. Okay. And when I am looking for things to watch. I'm looking for things that are in certain formats. Sure. Things that are in different, um, have certain codecs. Yeah. Or sound. Yeah. You know, I've, I was using a Polk soundbar with my television. Okay. Because the audio was okay, but it, you know, I don't have surround sound, but the soundbar was better. Yeah. So I had that. Man, this TV, uh, I'll just say it. Okay. So it's like right now you can get it for $6.99. That's. Seems very reasonable. Very. And it's 50 bucks off. Yeah. So even at 750 For a 65 inch, that seems very reasonable. Brother, I, the TVs that were 32 inches that were three grand right? in my lifetime. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. I, you know, not that long ago. No, I know. Um, So watching things now uh, with 4k and it's not just 4k but it's things that are in like dolby atmos yeah things that are you know when you watch sports you've got sports mode you've yeah. got game mode like yep. a lot of tvs have had these for years right? sure so that doesn't make it necessarily compelling on its own mm-hmm. but the 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 smarts of this tv yeah Super easy to set up. Yeah. It runs on Android TV. Yep. So you log in with your Google credentials and your apps automatically start to log you in on half of them. Mm -hmm. So you don't have to reauthorize, you know. Right. Netflix and some of it. It's just like they're there. Yeah. Uh, So that's nice. But switching sources from like YouTube TV, I'll watch, you know, I'll put on a football game, but then I'll switch to put on... um, a movie uh-huh. on Netflix. 
it switches modes automatically. Oh wow! Without having to like, there's a button on your remote, obviously, to go in and change. Yeah. But the fact that it like knows and identifies like this is sports, and not not just the video, but it does it to the sound as well. Oh, cool! So it'll do things for like speech or theater, mm-hmm. um, music, sports. So there's different settings for that. Yeah, and then there's the different uh, video settings, and you can always change. Mm-hmm. So there's like theater day, theater night. Filmmaker mode is something that I've wanted to check out for the longest time. Yeah. And that's the mode where basically things are calibrated to the way the director yeah. wanted the video to be in the source. Oh, wow. So things might look dark, but sure. it's intentionally dark. Right. Or uh, the contrast or the lighting and certain things. This is the, it's calibrated to the way that the, the, the director and the producer, that's the way they wanted that. Oh, wow. So filmmaker modes on here. And I love that. Um, dude, this thing, <laughs> it's so bright. Right? It is so bright. Yeah. And so that, that comes in with, and, and I'm going to probably butcher some of this, but like these, the mini LED, mm-hmm. the, the QLEDs, it's not just like a bright, like background. Mm-hmm. It's like shines through like, it's so vibrant in all areas of the TV. Right. It yeah. feels like every pixel or right. mini pixel has a completely different light source than what I'm used to on a television. Sure. Well, I mean, it it was not very long ago, but long ago enough where, you know, we used to work at a, a big box store mm-hmm. that sold uh, big screen TVs that had a bulb in them. Yes. You know, and, and stuff would look great, ex- but around the edges, there was always a little bit of degradation. And mm-hmm. then as your bulb got older, you know, you would have to change the bulb because, but like the technology now, it just, it's consistent yes. across the whole field of view. And, you know, it's been that way for a, a while. Yeah. But the QLED, and I, I think the the key difference with that is just the the trueness of the color. Yeah. You know? So yeah, it it's able to create an image like, you know, if you imagine like you know, the hot air balloon flying over the sure. the desert yep. and getting all those colors or watching like planet earth documentaries and seeing like a trillion shades of green. Right. I mean, not literally, but right. this thing is able to do, you know, what is it? Over a billion. Yeah. Over a billion color combinations. That makes no sense to me. It doesn't. Right. But when you see it, it's one of those things where once you have a taste for it, mm-hmm. you you don't you don't get it in other things. It mm-hmm. makes other content look different, right? And so these mini LEDs are it's it's so bright. Like mm-hmm. the, the landing screen or splash screen for Super Mario Wonder's got like a lot of white in it. Mm-hmm. It is almost jarring how bright it is. <laughs> Blinding. You, yeah, like you, if you're playing at night with no lights on in the room, yeah. it is. But things look so rich. Yeah. And then the sound on this thing. Mm-hmm. I threw my, um, the sound bar is not even in the same room. Not anymore. even a thing. It went to the basement. It, yeah. This thing sounds amazing. Nice. I don't think I cracked the volume maybe more than 15%. Wow. I never even come close to putting it up. Yeah. It's just, it's just really loud. It's really clear. Yeah. And it just sounds so much more open, mm-hmm. spacious, mm-hmm. rich, mm-hmm. accurate, like all the things right. that you expect. Yeah. And I mean, it's got 144 hertz refresh rate. So all the sports tickers that have run across the screen, yeah. your video games, they, they just look that much better. It's nuts, man. Yeah. And I, I know I sound like I've been paid by high sense to say this stuff <laughs> but i love this thing yeah like it really makes me like i've gone back and rewatched some of my favorite movies and i'll just pull them up because it's just like i wonder what it looks like on this yeah yeah it was like when you got dvd yeah right you're like yeah. oh man look how good the matrix looks on dvd <sighs> compared to vhs yeah. listen to saving private ryan on dvd oh yeah like it's all of those things again right right, right. so like yeah e- and with streaming, it's there. Yeah. I I was kind of reluctant to believe that you could stream a, a 4K image that's going to be that great. Mm-hmm. But 
I'm watching and looking for things now when it's like I'm watching uh, Netflix. I'll see things that say like Dolby Vision. I'm like, yeah, yeah. Like, I I'm more forgiving of the the quality of the content right just because for the I visuals wanna, are there because the visuals are there <laughs> i'm looking for like old movies and new movies brother 2001 space odyssey oh yeah on hbo max yeah 4k mm -hmm. oh, chef's, I, chef's kiss yeah i watched uh i watched bullet train on <sighs> the uh projector that i was testing out mm -hmm. <sighs> that movie looks great it's a that's a fun bright it cartoon. really is. It's a really engaging movie, especially when you have the visuals to back it up. Yeah, it looks like uh, something that Chat GPT or Dolly would create, like right. color wise. <laughs> yeah, but very vibrant. This, dude, this thing is in the sixty-five inch. I mean, this comes in different sizes, so okay. you can get this thing. Um, the U seven series is available: fifty-five inch, sixty-five inch. Uh, I want to say. 70 i mean it just keeps there's different versions of that nice um the google tv is built right into it that's I, great i think i called it android tv earlier yeah. but it's it's amazing yeah i i don't want to belabor that and c keep talking about it but it's it's awesome nice i would say if you're looking for a new tv if you think you know you're on defense about 4k mm -hmm. or you're thinking of like, oh, is high sense of brand that I'm, you know, not familiar with, dude. It is great. Nice. Uh, I think that you've been really happy with the projector. Yeah, absolutely. The television, I, I, I can't say enough about it. Uh, it, I love, I love sitting down in front of this thing. Nice for all aspects. Awesome. So awesome. Yeah, high sense U uh, seven series. Yeah. Four K TV. Awesome. Well, thanks, Scott. You got it. All right, that's going to do it for this episode of the podcast. Thanks for listening. We appreciate it. If you guys have any questions, feedback, concerns, comments, anything, shoot us an email at podcast at androidguys.com. We'd love to hear from you one way or the other. Uh, Luke, if someone wants to get a hold of you, how do yeah. they do that? Uh, I am on Instagram and Twitter at Luke Gall, G-A-U-L. And I'm on Instagram at Scott Webster and Twitter as swebster 77 until next time, thanks for listening. See ya.